Hi, this is Alicia, and today in Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain, I would like to show you where the financial dimensions are stored on a fixed asset. So when we go into fixed assets, and then we go into fixed assets, fixed assets, and we open one up, on the surface it looks like there is not there are no financial dimensions on the fixed asset. Because again, if I just right mouse here and say collapse all, you can see that there's not a fast tab for fixed financial dimensions, which is a little bit unusual because you're like, hey, how can I automatically get these financial dimensions for depreciation, acquisition, disposal, and those kinds of things onto my financial vouchers? On fixed assets, it's a little bit different than it is on customer vendors items in those other places. The financial dimensions are actually stored on the books. So at the top of your screen, if you click on books, you will see then that you have financial dimensions associated with each of the books. And the reason for this is because if you're doing a straight line depreciation, you may want those financial dimensions to be different than if you're doing an accelerated posting or some other type of book posting. So to set the default dimensions for a fixed asset, you just go to the fixed asset, click on books, and there you can set it up on the book that you want.